Today on Corporate Review, join us as we explore innovative technologies, cutting edge solutions, and timely discussions from leaders across the globe. This is Corporate Review. Welcome to Corporate Review, I'm Jackie Bales. These days we all expect to have mobile internet access anywhere at any time. But the reality is that wireless access can often be slow, intermittent, or just simply unavailable. This is because of the proliferation of mobile devices and the way in which we use these devices. It's created what's known as the capacity crunch for mobile operators. Here today to tell us all about this issue and how his company, Dolly Wireless, is solving the capacity crunch, we have Chairman and CEO Albert Lee. Welcome, Albert. Thank you, Jackie. So Albert, what is it about mobile devices that's putting such a strain on networks these days? The wireless network today was built for voice. And then uh, that was the times when there were dropped calls or no coverage was the main issue. Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays, with mobile data being at the forefront, where people use the iPhones or tablets and Androids and so forth, and then the wireless require a data-centric network. Video streaming is one biggest driver for driving mobile data demand, as well as all these web applications like social networking. Mm -hmm. On top of that, the number of users have also increased, not just the users, but also the devices they carry per users, and also the time, the hours that they spend per user. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, there is just a uh, really big uh, tsunami coming with the, with the data. These whole migrations from a voice-based network to a data-centric network is putting a strain on the operators, especially when data network is quite difficult to, to set up as compared to a voice-based. Can you give me an overview of Dali Wireless and how your company's tackling this challenge to try to improve the user's experience? Yes, Dali was founded in 2006 between my CTO partner, Professor Sean Stapleton and myself. We're headquartered in Silicon Valley and also with a uh, research and development facilities in Vancouver, Canada. Hmm. DALI has sales and also customer services team across the world. DALI was founded on an idea that both Sean and I have. <coughs> a, uh, back then in 2006, 2007, we saw how the computing industry has migrated from a desktop to the, the current cloud because there is a bottleneck with respect to computing. Mm -hmm. When we saw the iPhone launched in uh, 2007, we knew that mobile data is coming. We knew that just a matter of time that our traditional analog-based network will suffocate the same way how the computer industry did. Mm -hmm. So what we have done was use our software technologies to apply it towards the traditional analog networks. Mm -hmm. And as a result, we came up with a product solutions that looks like a cloud. And then with that, we can actually help mobile operators decrease the cost, operating costs, increase the revenue, as well as vastly increases the user experience, which is ultimately what everybody wants. Absolutely. Well, in this Corporate Review Field Report, we'll take a closer look at Dali Wireless and their mobile coverage and capacity solutions. Unlike conventional analog systems, Dali RF router is designed to provide high-speed data and voice when needed, where needed. With DALI RF router, mobile operators and enterprises can easily, remotely, upgrade their network as their requirements and objectives change over time. Our platform will enable operators to create a system that is future-proof. We are truly virtualizing the radio access network by providing the operators with the capability to reconfigure their network over time as their system evolves, as new bands come online, as they need to reconfigure their cells. Cellular and Wi-Fi traffic can seamlessly be integrated into the DALI solution, making it a really simple and easy system for the IT managers to use in a plug-and-play fashion. They're able to use a lot of the infrastructure that they already have available, ensuring that this is a cost-effective solution for the entire business. The DALI RF router can deploy capacity wherever and whenever it's needed, and that's really important because data traffic does vary during time and location. Mobile operators around the world uh, at this time are transitioning from 3G to 4G. In the near future, they will be transitioning to 5G standards. With conventional analog systems, 
this transition, in most of the cases, require that infrastructure need to be stripped and new hardware introduced. With Dali RF router, network operators and enterprises can easily upgrade their network when the new standards become available. The thing I'm most proud of with this team is that they've created a platform that will take operators uh, into the future. This platform has the scalability and flexibility that will enable uh, not only fourth generation systems but fifth generation wireless systems. So Albert, with mobile traffic growing exponentially, mainly driven by video, how is Dolly Wireless helping mobile operators handle all that growth? Mobile operators' most valuable asset is the frequency spectrum which nowadays people loosely refer to it as the invisible gold. Invisible you, gold. Correct, huh? because you cannot see it. Right. But however, they are like oil and gold, they, it is finite. So operators have to pay billions of dollars to bid for a slice of the spectrum. So aside from acquiring more spectrum, which is not readily available, mm -hmm. the other obvious way is to increase the throughput, because the wider the pipe, the more data that you can provide. However, with existing technologies, there are some challenges to how much throughput that you can provide. And DALI, using our own proprietary software, we have a way to break that bottleneck huh. and provide very high throughput. And then on top of that, when a network operator plans for capacities for the network, they cannot plan for today's consumption. They have to plan for, for probably five or 10 years. Wow. With the exponential growth, if you, no matter how much data you provide today, it will be not enough and basically in the years to come. Undoubtedly. Yes, so DALI has a cloud-based architecture, which basically will allow the network operators to provide data capacities whenever and wherever they need it. So this is how we can solve it. Hmm. Well, now that mobile operators' networks are shifting from being coverage-centric to capacity, throughput-centric, right? How is DALI Wireless helping mobile operators handle the associated cost pressure? When a mobile operators deploy a network, design a network, they have to design for peak traffic. Imagine about a stadium with, let's say, 100,000 fans in the stadium. They must make sure that everybody in the stadium's got the capacities that they wanted. However, we all know that most of the biggest games, they only play a few times a year. Right. So the rest of the times, the, the stadium is emptied. So imagine that also in the entire cities, it's not just the stadiums, but other venues have, we have similar kind of peak traffic situations, mm -hmm. which uh, we generally uh, call this as over-provisioning. So DALI with our software-based systems, and we're able to aggregate all the resources into one central location and provide them on demand. So which means that when there's a football game going on, then the central base station farm can provide more capacities to that particular game. When the game is over, we can take back the capacities and deploy it elsewhere. Hmm. And this complementary kind of deployment of capacities is actually very good for the operators. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, typically there are multiple operators that users want it. Imagine, let's say you and your friends, and I, I believe that probably some of you are using different operators and not, not the same operators. I guess. So therefore, you also need to uh, consider about multiple operator scenarios. So with our systems, if with our products, we can actually allow them to share infrastructure, which is where the trend is going. Oh, okay, got it. Now, where is Dali's technology typically deployed? You talked about stadiums quite a bit. Yes. Tell us the rest. With the 80% of the data capacities in indoor, naturally the indoor environments like airports, uh, hotels, conference centers, campuses, our natural kind of first point of entry. However, DALI is actually omnipotent, if I would say, because everywhere. We can also go outdoor, like for example, busy streets, highways, and we also have some projects in providing broadband data to bullet trains in different countries. In harsh environments like mines and tunnels, and then where safety and communications is key, and that is where DALI can, can function. So what do you think the future holds for DALI Wireless? DALI is uh, started as an innovation house, and we'll continue to do that. DALI has already over 200 patents worldwide under our belt. That's amazing. Thank you. DALI will continue to invest in research and developments, coming up with new innovative products, while at the same time commercializing all the good stuff that we have and bring it to the marketplace to help solve this mobile data crunch. As a matter of fact, DALI is already operating in more than 30 countries, and basically any countries that uses iPhone or Android or tablets, anything wireless, DALI can be there.
Incredible. Well, it seems Dally Wireless is doing a great job and has a very unique solution for mobile networks. So thanks for telling us about it today, Albert. Thank you, Jackie. For Corporate Review, I'm Jackie Bales. Thank you for watching.